I know in South Africa we have a tendency of celebrating mediocre. In South Africa, people will celebrate that this one politician who used to be in the EFF has jumped ship and is joined the Patriotic Alliance. What's there to celebrate? People in South Africa will celebrate two people divorcing. Hey, this woman has divorced her 10 year long lived husband. What's there to celebrate? You can't celebrate mediocre. If people want to leave relationships, let them leave. It's fine. Things like that happen. There's nothing special with that. People have always left the ANC. Who has celebrated people leaving the ANC? People have left the MK. People have left different political parties all over the world. Who has celebrated it? Why now, when it's the EFF, it has to be a big thing? Hey, these two guys, they used to be leaders in the EFF. They've left the EFF. They've joined the Patriotic Alliance because they are not happy with the immigration stance the EFF stands for. The immigration stance has always been there, way before they even joined. It was in the founding manifesto of the EFF. Why now, all of a sudden, they want to claim that that's the reason why they've left the EFF? Let me ask you a question. You are claiming you have left the EFF. Didn't the EFF let you guys go? Because the EFF has excluded you from participating in the legislature. The EFF has excluded you from going back to parliament. So who are you to claim that you have left the EFF if the EFF was not, in, was not confident in your, in your skills and your contribution to even make you be part of the leadership teams? Maybe the EFF has left you don't claim you have left the EFF. Maybe the EFF has left you. Maybe they've seen that, ah, maybe these guys are traitors. Maybe these guys, no, man, they're here to, to do some inside job. So let's not trust them. Let's not put them in parliament. Let's not, yeah. Even that can be the truth. And the other way around can also be the truth. Maybe they were not happy. We agree with that. But that can not just be the only reason. Because the immigration stand has always been there. It's always been there. They've always known it. So they must not come here and act special that now just because the PA, the Patriotic Alliance, want to chase foreigners, foreigners must go, hey, all of that. They want to claim that's why they're joining it. They must not come here and then lie to us. Because, no, you know, ne, when you lie too much to people, people end up not believing lies anymore. Yeah, they might listen to the lies to want to hear what you are lying about. But there is a very big difference from people listening to lies and people believing the lies. Yeah, we can listen to lies day in, day out. But believing them is another type of, of a brain function. Because, nah, brah, Julius Malema was right. South African people, more especially the youth, the young ones, are only going to get smarter and smarter and smarter. Brah. We are waking up. Yeah, we might not be so wisdomful in our systems. We might not know it all. But we are waking up. You know? And hey, one thing, one mistake you can ever make in public is to be a traitor in public and jump ship. Because when you go to the other team, yeah, they might welcome you just because they want to spite this other team because they hate it. But do they trust you? Do they trust you? Do they believe if you can be a traitor to this organization you've always been part of? Do they believe you can be loyal to them? They won't. But they might use you to spite the other team. They might use you. Yazin. Hey. There's chairs in politics. People are pawns out here. People are being used. People are hungry. People are doing politics because they want to feed themselves. People are joining political parties because they want to go there and, and, and eat. People lack principles out here. And for people to think that we don't see is a great mistake because we see. Hey. Yazin. Hey, this politics is interesting in South Africa. Ziakala is very interesting. South African politics is the best politics in the whole world. I see American politics with the puppet Biden. I see with the great Mr. Trump. I see those politics. But South African politics are the greatest politics in the whole world. Now nah, it's movies in South Africa, bruh. It's a movie.